Hi everyone, my name is Alexandra Matteson and today we're going to be discussing the behind the scenes for James and the Shark. Okay, so after um, I volunteered at Care for Wild for the first time in 2019, I came back and I wanted to do more. I wanted to participate more and expand and grow on what I was now doing. And a friend of mine, once they heard that I, I had volunteered at Care for Wild, was like, you need to meet the guys at Veterans for Wildlife. And that is what I did. Amazing work that they, they are doing. And yeah, so through this, I was interviewing some of the volunteers. And um, one of the volunteers that I, that I was working with is James Glancy. Now, James Glancy is a former Royal Marine Commando, CGC. And I believe the CGC refers to the the medal that he was awarded um, from from his contribution in the war and his courage and, and all of these sorts of things. And yeah, um, it was really amazing because um, I also had to do quite a bit of research and background um, in order to, to do this project that I was doing for Veterans for Wildlife. And he has done so much work with sharks. Um, he really has such a passion for them and he raises a lot of awareness. And he's even done, um, so prior to this year, 2021, um, he had done um, a, a documentary for, uh, I think it was um, Discovery or, or National Geographic for the Shark Week, um, where, okay, I might get this wrong, but it was something like they parachuted from an aircraft and then went into the ocean and then they had to survive like on on an inflatable something or other in the ocean for for a couple of days or weeks or something like it was quite an insane thing to do but amazing for raising awareness for sharks and um yeah and then now for 2021 he's done more documentaries um which included challenges with Bear Grylls. Um, and then there's this whole thing um, I watched around the the biggest bull shark. Um, so yeah, I'm definitely going to add links because I'm waffling on and I'm not 100% sure about <laughs> all of these documentaries. So I'll attach links so that you can see exactly what he's been doing. It's absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, so obviously when I wrote a shark book, it had to be James and yeah and then again as well Sea Shepherd because Sea Shepherd's also doing such amazing work um, trying to halt IUU fishing so basically that's the illegal fishing um, networks and they catch sharks dolphins whales like you you can't believe like yeah and I mean our sharks are seriously threatened at the moment um, and should our sharks go extinct, that is going to be a very big problem. Um, it will severely disrupt the ecosystem in in the ocean. Um, so we need to protect them now, um, now more than ever. Um, yeah, they are definitely a critical and vital element of the ocean. Um, okay. Sorry, I've got notes. I just want to double check that I've got everything. Okay. So, I don't know if anyone watched um, My Octopus Teacher. So, this is kind of where um, I drew some... <laughs> um, it just basically helped me drew, draw this picture, right? With the kelp forest and, and the little fishes everywhere. Um, and then that wasn't even the first picture, but I couldn't figure out what I wanted to do for the first one. And then... So I drew this and that is an octopus. And this is the octopus then I used for Russell and the Whale. Okay. Um, oh, okay, this is also... So guys, I drew this out of order. Like I was... If I battle, I don't... I don't stick to a specific one until I, I, I start drawing with what I'm comfortable with. Okay. So this is actually page four of the book. So when he's still, he's got the hook in his mouth and he's scared. Oh. And then J 
James takes the hook out of his mouth. <laughs> Very courageous. <laughs> okay, so back to page three when he, he sees James for the first time and he doesn't know what to do. Um, where is it? Oh, and then when he tells his story um, about how he got caught and they were going to take his fin from him. So basically this is just showing like they were chumming the water type vibe um, to, to get him. And then I know that it's also shark fins are mainly used in soup. Um, but they also create um, these like shark cartilage pills is another form that people um, ingest. Um, shark cartilage, the fins. Um, and this is just another unnecessary practice because Like in the book, I say, you know, the only the only animals that need shark fins are sharks. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. There's there's a lot of educational programs around this. Um, sea Shepherd does a lot of um, raising awareness um, for this. Um, yeah, I really don't know what else to say. You know. Um, just like rhino horn, we don't need, that doesn't help us at all. <laughs> okay, and then during lockdown last year, James started this channel on Mail Plus in the UK, Planet SOS. And that's basically why I chose to draw this um, for the book. Um, basically, um, what he started working on, um, how to educate, how to raise awareness and, and all of these things um, but obviously he's also got the whole discovery channel shark week um, episodes that he's doing yeah and then crazy <laughs> I definitely changed that don't worry <laughs> but yeah, that's just how how it how it evolves um, and it was so funny because I drew this character and I was like Oh, it's so simple like it's just so like uh, I don't know I don't know about this animal I don't know if I need to change change his shape or what I need to do and then I eventually found a photograph of a shark face on and I was like it actually works like that is what okay in like my cartoony vibe like the best that I'm best to my ability drawing ability right it's actually quite close <laughs> in my opinion <laughs> well, at least I like to think so I guess yeah um yeah and then the final drawings oh. I gotta say um I saw this image and I don't know if it's photoshopped of this diver and he had this massive like giant octopus behind him and I gotta say that is like my biggest fear of well not the biggest fear of the ocean because I was definitely scared of sharks or am still scared of sharks but it's a um fear of the unknown I guess um like I did nippers as a kid so nippers is like life-saving but for juniors so you you like in training right and we were out in the ocean every Sunday I swam for summer strand in PE anyone's interested and <laughs> knowing that information and yeah I was petrified of like sharks and anything massive just coming at me and also in PE um the waters generally as in 99% of the time quite murky so you're swimming and you have no idea what's below you so the mind just goes crazy right but um, obviously the more that you 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 learn um, you you start to realize that have a healthy respect for these animals but you don't need to be um, 
fearful, you know. Um, so, oh, so what happened was, was that um, I realized that he wasn't quite symmetrical. And that kind of freaked me out. So I redrew him quite a number of times. And then for editing purposes, um, I used this image for two images. And then I would just literally like take the 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 kelp out and then swap yeah so that's why i've got two blocks on the same page <laughs> um because i wanted him, him to kind of look the same through throughout the book um because at one point he wasn't looking looking the same um but i love him anyway oh so he was one of the lucky ones that got away you see you can see the shape like he like square and then round and then and that's why that's why i i decided to to um just do it a little bit better and in a different way College, yeah. and better now yeah also i really enjoyed drawing him um yeah he was a very sweet character to draw um simple simple um okay so the dedication i dedicate this book to james glancy Thank you for your dedication and passion for conservation. Your efforts to educate and explore the why, what and how around poaching and the illegal animal trade is commendable. Definitely check out his Instagram. Um, and then, as I said, I'll put the links in for as many shows as I can find. Um, but definitely, if you can, check out shark week <laughs> i know that um this book is going to be you know we're discussing it after shark week but if you can um re-watch those videos go and do it um yeah and yeah thank you also to sea shepherd and all that they are doing for the sharks we really we really do need to protect them um they are not as scary and as um, horrible as as the media and everyone has made them out to be in the past. Um, they're not here to kill us. Um, they they yeah. Definitely read up, do your research. Knowledge is power, guys. And yeah, let's save the sharks. Thank you so much for listening to me. Okay, bye guys.